Hello, everybody. It's me, Mitch. In the kitchen. In the kitchen, and I thought I'd take you along for a little How I Do Carnivore Adventure. And today, after a little Sam's Hall yesterday, I think I'm going to have myself some chicken wings for dinner. And I'm going to take a lot of chicken wings and a lot of chicken thighs and get them portioned and put away for about a month. I'm going to add that to the food that I just portioned the other day in my freezer, a 10 pound chub of 80, 20 ground beef into one pound, one pound portions. And I use just Ziploc bags Rolled, rolled the air out of them. I've got steaks for the next month, all vacuum sealed and ready to put in the sous vide. I've got plenty of bacon in the door here. I've got some pork meat. I've got some fish and some haddock, some salmon. I've got some pork belly right here that I can slice up and fry. I've got some soup that I vacuum sealed and packaged. It's got all kinds of stuff in it. I am well set for the month. And what I'm gonna do right now, is I'm gonna, I'm gonna deal with the chicken in my refrigerator. Another thing I got at Sam's Club the other day was I got this. This is not my normal Wright's bacon, but it's the uh, Members Mark version of it. It looks pretty the same, comes four pounds, hickory smoked, but it does say it's got a slightly larger amount of carbohydrates. I have a funny feeling that this isn't much more than the Wright's because I think they got it somewhere around a half a gram because of the sugar cure and maybe the Wrights has a little less than half a gram. They could call it zero. This may have a little more. They could call it one. Either way, I'm going to try this. It's five bucks cheaper for four pounds. So I thought I'd at least try it. I've had a lot of, a lot of my viewers comment that it pretty much is the same. I don't know if it's worth worrying about, but I do have all of this Wrights bacon in here. <laughs> so... I'm pretty well set for bacon. I also bought some chicken yesterday. I bought some, I bought some chicken wings, six pounds of chicken wings at 288 a pound. And I guess we value chicken wings a lot more than we value chicken thighs, which actually I almost kind of like better, but the chicken thighs, let's see what we got in this package. In this package, we got 5.56 pounds for $1.38 a pound. It's less than half as much, which makes chicken thighs the absolute cheapest thing, cheapest thing that you can get. But tonight for my second meal, after bacon and eggs and some smoked salmon for my first meal, I just had a hankering for, hankering for something quick. So I got my air fryer, got my Ninja. I'm going to just throw a half a dozen, maybe seven chicken wings in there. I'm not going to cut them up. I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to throw a little salt on them. I'm going to cook them for about a half an hour, and that's my dinner. Very easy, quick dinner, very little mess. Then I'm going to take the rest of this chicken, and I'm going to use my Wevac my Wevac Model 12 vacuum sealer. And I'm going to vacuum seal all of these, which should give me probably two more portions of wings and three portions of three thighs each, which would be fairly large meals, maybe even four portions. Since I've got five and a half pounds, that should give me four portions, and put them in the freezer. And since I don't eat chicken, 
any more than once a week. I'll be good for the next month as well. Let's put the chicken wings in the air fryer. All right. This is quick and easy. We'll just open up the chicken wings. And all we're going to do is take them, stick them down in the air fryer basket. Doesn't get any easier than this. We'll pull them apart when they're done. Let's take, get seven of them, one third of what was in the package. And that'll make a nice meal. We will make sure that after wiping my hands on this rag and getting raw chicken on it, I will put it in the wash immediately. And I will take one of the rare times that I use a little garlic is I'm going to use this Kinder's this Kinder's salt. So we're just going to shake just a tiny little bit of this. We're not going to overdo it. But I'm going to shake a little bit of this garlic and black pepper and salt. Not enough to mean anything. We turned it on. We're going to hit air crisp. We're going to go 375 degrees for 30 minutes. We don't even have to flip them. I'm going to hit start. It's going to tell me to preheat. I don't want to preheat. I'm going to hit skip. And then I'm going to open it and close it again. And now it is cooking. While it's cooking, I will drag out my vacuum sealer. And I will turn it on. Power on. And I will set it. to automatic medium-sized bag. I get my WeVac and my vacuum sealer bags from WeVac directly. They offer a 15% discount. The codes are also on my links to stuff I use page. Many, many of you have bought this vacuum sealer. It is fabulous. Being a chamber style vacuum sealer, you can uh, seal liquids in it never sucks anything out of the bag. So it's been a great tool for me. It's one of the reasons it's so easy for me to prep food like this. And all I have to do, all I have to do is take a bag. And the bags are cheap. They cost a fraction of what most of the other commercially available ones cost because they come in big boxes and they're designed for commercial use for restaurants and things like that. And I'm going to take another whole row of these wings and I'm just going to throw them in the bag so that I can freeze them, even if it's for an extended length of time. And while that, while those chicken wings are cooking, This is how simple it is. I'll just take this bag. I'll lay it in the chamber. I'll put the, the open end of the bag under the clip. Shut the lid. And that's all there is to it. And it will vacuum seal it. does take longer than a standard vacuum sealer that sucks the air out of the bag because this creates, this creates a vacuum in the chamber around the bag. And if you look in the glass top, you'll notice that the bag isn't even shrinking yet. But there is a vacuum being created in the bag. Now it's letting, sealing the bag. Now you'll hear a sound when it lets the air back in the chamber and because the vacuum is sealed in the bag you end up with a beautifully 
beautifully vacuum sealed bag of one meal's worth of chicken wings. And all I have to do is do that again. Now, instead of holding the camera up, the next time I'll go ahead and start putting the stuff in the bag while the bag before it is sealing itself. And I'm going to take what's left of the chicken wings and throw them in the bag. And I have three meals out of this one package of chicken wings. And I'll probably get four meals out of that one package of chicken thighs. So we take this just lay it in here put the edge under the clip to hold it in place just make sure it's stretched out over the ceiling bar there we go shut the lid it starts and that takes care of the chicken wings they're done now while that's sealing I'll break myself into the chicken thighs Wow, look at these things. Can you imagine all this for seven bucks? All this chicken for seven dollars. Look at this. Look at this. Can you imagine all that chicken for seven bucks? Really is. You talk about cheap carnivore. It's the way to go. It's the way to go. So let's take, these are some pretty big ones. So I think that two of these really big ones probably be a meal so that's that's great I think that's more than a pound right there we have our other package of chicken wings which we'll put in the freezer let me vacuum seal start working on the thighs here This really, really makes this convenient. I, I really end up doing this only about once a month when I go and stock up on chicken and I bought some ribs and I bought things that I don't eat every day. So you prep some hamburger, you prep some chicken wings, you prep some thighs, you vacuum seal some fish, you make sure you have enough bacon, you buy some eggs, and you're pretty well set for an entire month. You're set for an entire month of almost no-brainer carnivore eating. And making this, I gotta tell you, you know one of my one of my tenants is make it simple. Keep it as simple as possible. You have a greater chance of succeeding when you keep it simple. All right, since this one's a little smaller and I've got four left, I'm going to take three and put it in this package. There we go. And I'm going to take out my first package of chicken thighs. I'm going to get my second package of chicken thighs in the sealer. You work like a little assembly lineman in, line in 10, 15 minutes. In 10 or 15 minutes, you're set for the month. Beautiful thing is when you buy these bags in this kind of quantity and you get the 15% discount on top of it, they're cheap. They're cheap. We don't have to worry about wasting a bag or two. It, it really, it's very economical. And they'll keep for months and months and months in these vacuum sealed bags. And before I put them in the freezer, I will take a Sharpie and write the date on it. So there's all the chicken dispatched there we go. It's just a matter. It's just a matter of putting them in a bag, throwing them in the vacuum sealer. It's just that easy. And that's basically all there is to it. That's all there is to it. We've got been cooking the chicken wings now for eight minutes. And that's what it took. Once I got the chicken wings gone in eight minutes, I got them all ready, prepped, portioned, ready for the freezer. We'll come back and check and see how the chicken wings come out when they're done. See you then. You can go to my website at oldguycarnivore.com. On there, I've got a 
page that says links to stuff I use every day. These links take you to Amazon affiliate links of buying. And when you buy something through these links, it helps support the channel. Here is everything I use, every kitchen tool, gadget, and everything else. If you think, and there's no obligation, but if you think you might want to get some of the stuff that I use in my videos and do this yourself, whether it be food, supplements, kitchen appliances, tools, gadgets, frying pans, whatever, I would really appreciate it. Oldguycarnivore.com links to stuff I use page doesn't cost you a dime more and you're really helping me continue to do what I do thanks so much and let's get back to it now so chicken wings are almost done all of that food all of that food for an entire month of eating for me is in this freezer all the chicken is under here all the hamburger right there. The steaks are here. Everything else, the fish. And I'm set. I don't have to shop. Maybe I might have to pick up some eggs, but that's it. Again, one of the necessary things, I think, to make success more possible, living this lifestyle is convenience and simplicity. And here we have, here we have my dinner for tonight. Wow, look at them, don't they look good? That was as easy as it gets. Two minutes to clean out the, the basket and the pan of this air fryer and that's all it took. Kitchen's clean, no mess. I love this. I love this. And there you have it. There you have it. Going to let these things cool off for a couple minutes. Eat my dinner. And I won't eat again until tomorrow at 11 o'clock. I show you these things because I'm firmly convinced that keeping it as simple as you can with as little work and cleanup as you can, as uncomplicated as you can, really gives your body and mind a chance to return to simpler times when we were getting exactly the nutrition that we needed and not surrounded swimming in a veritable ocean of crap and poisonous garbage, addictive stuff. And there is life after carb addiction. So many of us are living proof of it. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was somewhat meaningful for you. I'm going to eat my dinner. So with that, my friends, take the rest of the day off and eat meat or chicken wings.